Hey guys, I'm back again. I am doing another pick a card reading for you because that reading went freaking nuts. Like, so many people watched it. Um, and you probably know by now, by the content of my channel, I'm so not about the views, but it certainly doesn't hurt. So, um, so we're going to do another one because it's fun. I'm going to apologize ahead of time that my neighbors are banging around upstairs and in the stairwell and in the front yard and my dogs are just triggered by that. Anyway, hopefully everything will stay quiet. Um, so <clears throat> we have four groups and I've drawn um, cards from two different decks for each of the four groups and this is going to be the same thing as last time which is divine compliments in karmic situations messages from divine compliments in karmic situations so um, take just a second to pick which group resonates best with you it might be more than one it might be all of them um, and then I will start reading so just take a minute while I get ready so, okay, so I'm going to start with group number one here. And in this group, I feel like I feel like we're probably talking about a masculine energy because the emperor appears here, but that doesn't mean anything necessarily since we all have masculine and feminine energies. Um, I feel that this person is saying that they um, they just need a little time. They need a little break because they have been in so much torment and mental conflict over the choice that they have had to make um, between two individuals. So this is somebody who's choosing between two individuals and they are opening up their heart at this point, but they really just need to step back and pull themselves together. Um, they would like time on their own to sort out their own demons, essentially. And uh, they're saying they feel attacked on all sides. Like, I think some of the people in this category are feeling your conflicted energy. So if your energy is conflicted in any way, if it is pushy, if it is really wanting an answer and just like, if you're really reaching your mental energies out there and trying to ascertain if this person has moved on from an old situation, maybe an old relationship or an old job or whatever it was that was keeping them stuck, they are feeling that and it's actually creating a lot of conflict for them. It's actually pushing them away, believe it or not. So <clears throat> they're asking you to take a step back and to allow them to have a step back too because they really need to figure out you know, I think they know in their heart what the right move is, but they really feel like they need to get their own shit straight, which is honestly really admirable because that is absolutely true. Like, they can't move forward and step into this new situation if they are still churning and in turmoil over the last one. That's not, you know, we're, we're talking about higher vibrational relationship type situations here higher vibrational energies and that is so 3d like you don't want that that's not what you're aiming for <clears throat> if you are looking for a divine complement type relationship um you you would do best to mirror this person's request of you and that is to step back as well and get your own house in order, so to speak, get your own shit straight, go through your own healing, take your own time, uh, viewing what is available within and what is still, what is still needs to, to, um, be healed within because that's where your conflict is arising. Both of you have conflict on the internal right now. <clears throat> and until that is settled, once you take this time out, um, there's no moving forward. So it's almost like there's a little bit of an impasse here until both of you take the time to go inward and allow the dust to settle, allow the healing to take place, allow all 
of the wands to be dropped because we have the five of wands here at the end and again that's not only their own energy but that's them feeling yours and you feeling them so it's really important <clears throat> that you recognize that the unity consciousness there that we really are all one and anything that one of us is suffering the rest of us are suffering particularly in a divine complement type relationship because you are meant to define what unity consciousness means and so the, and as i said that the the phone turned to 444 so i feel like that's a really important point to for today okay so um so take a little bit of a step back. Allow all this stuff to fall into place. This person is definitely aware of the situation and the the connection there. And I feel like they feel positive about it and that it is um, a very special kind of relationship and a special energy. But it continues to, to be pushed away by conflicted... Um, thought type energy for the most part so calm your mind allow that allow yourself to slip more into meditation where you're clearing your mind as opposed to allowing the constant conflict to continue to uh, to rattle around in your head and that goes for them as well and they're just admitting to and um, becoming aware of the fact that that is starting to hinder them so this person is also awake at this point and knows what they need in their life and asking you to um, to give them that space okay so that's number one number two okay number two is the the two of coins basically the seven of wands the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> so what I'm getting from this is that this person is really profoundly stepping out. They've made their choice. They're profoundly stepping out and defending that truth of theirs and that clarity. They are um, making choices and moving forward in ways that clear away the the things that no longer serve them and that includes um, people in their lives that includes um, organizational type things in their lives whether that be the family um, the family expectations or the job that's holding them back or keeping them occupied 24-7 um, they're definitely sort of the archetype of the, I feel like they're sort of a revolutionary to an extent because between both the seven of wands with the hierophant here, I feel like they're really challenging and breaking down some of the expectations that have been placed upon us by 3d society for hundreds and hundreds of years. And I feel like this, that causes this person um, an incredible amount of stress and anxiety because they know what's possible. They know they're evaluating like what is possible in their lives and they're seeing that and they're saying, this is not, you know, this is not what I want for myself. This is keeping me outside of my own, um, my own fulfillment. This is not allowing that because it's a restriction that's based upon a now faulty paradigm, something that no longer exists. And so all of that stuff is falling away, but this person is very conscious of that. They've made the choice to fight against it and they have their truth and clarity. So, um, I, you know, I see like in the seven of cups, you can see the man in the background kissing the cheek of the woman. And I feel like it's, they already know at this point what it is that they want but they do kind of still have all of this clutter around them and they have this need to break away from the outdated and outmoded expectations of them that are not allowing them to fully invest in what it is that they know is for them. 
Um, so this is kind of the process of breaking down the walls and recognizing how what they have now or what they have bought into in the past has kept them from achieving their true potential as an individual, okay? And it's as an individual that they're right now fighting to um, bring themselves into balance and into the state of empowerment. And because we're all one, again, back to the unity consciousness, this is also fighting for your relationship. Um, that represents the truth and clarity to them. But it's just part of what their truth and clarity entails. So this is somebody who is really an activist. I'm getting an activist of some type. Um, possibly somebody who is somehow in communication, like a writer, if not just like a, an environmental activist or like somebody who works on human rights or something like that. There's somebody here. There might even be hackers here. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what I'm seeing. Um, I feel like that's like this ace of swords energy is combined with the seven of wands. It's kind of like that hacker energy. Um, plus the five of pentacles. They're literally bringing you in out of the cold by hacking into. Never mind. Anyway, that might resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Um, so again, this person is like, I'm fighting for what I believe in and I am impassioned and... I am getting the word enraged. I'm literally enraged. My entire being and soul is enraged with passion about everything in my life and seeing it all come together um, in the state of oneness, in the state of unity and mission. This person is really into mission. And so that's such a, such a high vibrational type energy that is going to propel both of you forward and and they've made this choice very consciously okay so that's number two number three Number three has three different cards of new beginnings. So something is seriously happening with number three. Um, this person is going through lots of conflict right now. Um, they are, they're fighting their way out of something. And it is an ego battle. So I feel like the likelihood that this is involving a divorce is very high or a relationship breaking down which involves again fear and ego battles um <clears throat> this could no i really think that's what this is um this person is saying like i am dead freaking tired i am so tired i need to reflect inwardly because you have the solitude card here um, in order to heal that part of me that wants to be the person who can give unconditional love all the time like they truly want to be that person but they realize that they're going to have to access that part of themselves in this sort of quiet space like they're not <coughs> Um, their current new beginning is with themselves alone. And this is about self-empowerment. And this is about discovering who they really are without the labels of whatever their past situation was. So however they called themselves there, whether it was wife or 
mother or husband or or father or um, CEO or son or whatever it was, they're having to reevaluate themselves based upon only themselves. Like who who am I exactly? Um, and they they're going through a period of needing emotional healing. They're going to need to be this king of cups for themselves. But they're quite aware. It looks like they're actually, um, this person is, this person is saying that they're really, they are planning actually for the future. And it is in their plans to have this new beginning. You've got three new cards of new beginning. You've got the fool here, and then you've got the ace of wands, and you've got the ace of pentacles coming out. So this is somebody with, it may be a fire sign, they have an incredible amount of energy, and they're not going to take too long to be able to step into making this new beginning in the physical world. Um, I feel like this is a highly evolved person. I mean, most people who are involved in twin uh twin flame type relationships um, and I'm avoiding that label twin flame because I really don't resonate with it I keep going back to divine compliments divine compliment type relationships um, are pretty well evolved in individuals who have already struggled through a lot and overcome it so I feel like this person is that he is kind of the king of cups who um, he or she it doesn't have to be a male, is the king of cups, um, who has this light that they have been able to follow, and that light is their own heart space. So they're well in touch with their emotions and their emotional needs, and this is why they're able to proactively step back and take the time that they need, but also know that they're already planning to move forward and that they know that they have to fill their own cup first before moving forward. So... And that's what they want you to know. They really want you to um, be excited and be ready and get your, again, get your own house in order. You know, like be ready for the new beginning because it's coming and it's coming in fairly quickly with these two aces here right at the end of the spread. Um, this guy is confident or woman. I keep saying guy because I'm looking at the King of Cups and focusing on that as the person because um, it falls directly in the middle of the spread. So this person has actually a lot of confidence and they know exactly what they're putting out there. Um, they know how to manifest too. They know what they're putting out there. This is a highly evolved individual. So you might know who this is um, as I'm speaking about them. So I'm kind of feeling like trust their lead, like they know what they're doing. They've just fought long and hard and they're asking for, for a little bit of time in order to get this new beginning moving, okay? Um, I hope that that resonates with some of you. Let me know in the comments for sure. And that was number three. So now we're on the last one, which is number four. Okay. So here we have the Six of Cups with the Seven of Cups, with the Heart Chakra, with the Devil, with the Five of Swords, with the Six of Wands. And what I'm immediately feeling from this is this person knows what they want. This person knows exactly what they want. This person is saying that they've made their choice based upon how their heart feels. And they're really like sick and tired of all the other bullshit, they decided that, you know, they had this memory somewhere, whether it's from a past life or from this life, of how this specific energy felt, how this kind of unconditional love between people felt. And they know somehow what that feels like, even if they're coming out of a bad situation, which these later cards are showing. Um, they know they want that, like they're following their hearts here. So they've opened up their heart chakra, they've, they've experienced that kind of awakening. 
And there's really no other option there but to follow their heart because they've realized that any of the other options are really very, really pale in comparison. And I want to mention that it does involve you as the divine complement, but really by following their heart, they're following it into themselves, which is how this whole process works. It's like they follow it into themselves to discover what that true desire is and what um, and discovering true self-love, right? So that they can then share that with another individual, whoever this person is here that has created the Six of Cups energy, the memories of love, the nostalgia, the, um, the past memories or the past life memories, or even sometimes childhood. Um, and this could also be about inner child healing, that they've received a lot of that. But in either case, this person is definitely following their heart and they're very much aware that that is their choice and what they wanted to do. Um, they're seeing the contrast. They're saying that they've seen the contrast between the literally karmic situation and the devil and what their heart really is yearning for. Um, <clears throat> The devil involves chains, and it's really like chains that you think you can't break, but it's completely within your control, right? Because the devil can't take anything that you don't give him. And <clears throat> the same is kind of true of these chains. They can't keep you bound unless you let them. And so the, the next card is the five of swords, and I feel like there's a very... This, whatever this karmic situation is that they're in, much like one of the other ones that we just read, um, there is a battle to the death of the egos. Like, these people are not budging in their ego battle to the point where it's like, whatever this karmic situation was, I feel like this is also a relationship. It could be a business. This could be business partners. I'm seeing some of that too. But this relationship is dead on the table. It is dead on the table because um, the egos have battled so hard that it is absolutely irreconcilable and unhealthy for everyone involved. Like this is a clear picture of what you don't want in your life. What is sucking your energy? This is like vampiric if that's even a word. <laughs> this is an energy drain, 100%. And part of the karmic lesson here is taking back your power and learning empowerment and learning how to stand your ground and stand up for yourself and get out of situations where you are being victimized. So this person is being victimized in some, some way almost. Um, and they know that is not what they want. They're very clear on that. And um, they're saying they're basically fighting to the death to get out of this because once, once the, I guess the, um, the outcome is life or death, basically, then you fight to the life or death. Like there's no backing off there. You fight to the death once you're cornered like that. And that's kind of where they are. The final card here is the six of wands. So I feel like the, this Five of Swords card is very, it's different than others. I feel like the fighting is over, like, but they have just been through it. And it was just such a horrible massacre of personalities and horrible massacre of character. And each person who, who was involved in this, like, took a serious hit. Like, nobody came out of this a winner. Um... There was a lot of hurtful shit said and done. <clears throat> and um, to be honest, nobody here is guiltless. I feel like there's, there is some definite like refusing to budge on both sides. But the real fight here is done. 
and they are they've received a victory here with the six of wands <clears throat> um they may be a fire sign with this lion here in the background or just because it's wands but this is this is being victorious over over the karma basically because sometimes when i see lions i think strength and the strength card and when i see the strength card sometimes i think karma i think this person um is very <clears throat> This is somebody who's very much in touch with their into um, their instinct. I was going to say intuition, but really the word I want is instinct. They're very instinctual. And in some situations, this could be feminine. This could be a masculine. I'm feeling a masculine right now, but it could very much be um, a, f a female in this situation. <clears throat> but they have just ended this battle and or, like came out of it victorious and victorious might even just mean alive like that's how bad it was um and they were willing to literally like fight to the death for this heart connection and it's really for the heart connection to themselves and in that the heart connection to you because it's one in the same in the divine uh in the divine union <clears throat> this person does have some renewed sense of purpose and joy in having gotten out of that situation. I think that, you know, the healing that takes place through breaking these karmic changes or chains has really taken place with this person because they're feeling their empowerment. They're feeling the sun energy, even though they have just been through this horrendous shit. And, you know, I'm sure they're hurt and it was hard and there's potentially still some, some other difficulties ahead, but this person is appearing to me like I'm looking at him and he looks like Apollo, the sun god to me. You know what I mean? Like he is empowered with light at this point. He's a light worker. This person might be a healer feeling a lot of the, that kind of healing energy, especially with the heart chakra here. They're like a powerhouse, like a powerhouse of energy. So the message here is really that, you know, they're focused on their own unconditional love of themselves and therefore the unconditional love of their divine complement and moving forward and have, are, were willing to and fought through this karmic situation to emerge victorious and now it's like that moment just after the fight where they're they have to they just like breathe they just breathe and they just stand in the sun and thank god to be alive and that is what i'm getting from this person number four okay so let me know what you thought of these i mean if they were if they resonated at all there were about a million views on my first one, but not too many comments. So I really appreciate the comments um, and would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and share and like because I am just about eight subscribes away from 100 subscribers. And I know that's so tiny for, for YouTube, like people have millions. But for me, that is so... Um, significant because I never thought I could do this. I never thought I could record my readings like this and share them. I was always too afraid of what people would do or say or how it would be received. So I'm just so grateful to have all of you and um, I look forward to doing this again. Thanks so much guys. Bye.